There's a moment when every boy realizes no one's coming to save him. And that's when he becomes a man. And some boys never get there and stay children forever. The bottom line is no one's coming. No one. No one's coming to push you. No one's coming to tell you to turn the TV off. No one's coming to tell you to get out the door and exercise. Nobody's coming to tell you to apply for that job that you've always dreamt about. Nobody's coming to write the business plan for you. It's up to you. And because you're only ever going to do the things that you feel like doing right now or that feel good right now, unless you understand that you've got to parent yourself, you've got to push yourself, you're not going to make your dreams come true. You're just not. You know, life created this person, me. Life, life created me to be this fucked up person that I was back in the day. And I had to realize, man, that's okay, man. It's not my fault. Now I gotta go back and fix this shit though. So a lot of this isn't your fault why you do some things you do, why you feel the way you feel. But no one's coming back to save your ass. You have to go back to where this shit started, wherever that place is for everybody, and have the courage to go back there and start fixing what broke you. So whenever shit gets nasty, David Goggins goes, you had nobody anyway, motherfucker. You had nobody anyway, motherfucker. Look around you. There was no fucking team. It was you. But everybody needs that pat on the back. They need that training partner. They, they need that accountability coach. I don't hear that shit. And neither do they. But it's what we've trained ourselves to believe that we need. People struggle to do things alone. And the path of the exceptional person is one of an exception, which means that you are not with other people. And rather than fighting that or bemoaning it, see it as an indicator that you're on the right path. Because if everyone else were cheering you on, then it means you're not in the right place because it means you're just like everyone else and that's not where you want to be. Life isn't fair at all, at all. So what are you gonna do about it? I knew that no one was coming back to help me. No one's gonna miracle me to be somebody special. So, mentality is the only thing that gets us through life. I was an underdog. We are all underdogs in life. Even the baddest person in the world should think that way. So you should always have, I've never arrived mentality. And the can't hurt me mentality is no matter where you come from, the sewer or wherever you think you're from. When I got out of the sewer, I got to the road and looked around and said, can't hurt me. I suffered on my own and developed this man who said, it's who I am, man. There is a period in everybody's journey where they are so different because they've started to do new things that they no longer fit in with their old set of friends, but they're not sufficiently developed that they've gained their new set of friends. And they're unsure. Should I go back? Should I lean back into getting a bag in with the boys on a weekend? Is that the highest, you know, way that I can live my life passion forward? Because that's what everybody else does. And all of my friends are taking the piss. Oh, not drinking again. Too good for us, are we? Not going out again this week. Oh, okay. Well, like, enjoy staying in home and reading. Fucking nerd. So you're going to feel the pain of being ostracized from the group of friends that you used to have. But you're stuck in this messy middle where you haven't yet worked out who you are on the other side of this. And that lonely chapter that's in the middle is something that I, I would say almost nobody that I've ever met who has gone from a place where they are to a place where they want to be hasn't gone through. Man, I've trained 99% of my life alone. No one pat me on the back. I did all of the work alone. When you train alone, and I lived alone for so many years in this misery and you're able to get out by yourself. I, it was just me, me alone in the gym, me alone in the mirror, me alone in my head. No one did it for me. I worked for it and I'm never gonna let someone else take that from me. I can take myself to such a level of real, real passion and purpose. And like the feeling I get is something I can't even explain by myself. I don't need anyone. That's why, that's why people come to me to motivate them. No one can motivate me. People wanna know how I'm always motivated. It's the unseen work. I'm out running at two o'clock in the morning, one o'clock in the morning, in the gym, long sessions by myself. You were there, you know this. There was no one there to pick up the rucksack, to pick up the boat, to pick up the log, to go in there. It was you. 
It was you. There was no pat on the fucking back at 300, at, at 275, at 250, at 220. No, that was you. So those things that come out of me, that extract from me in the darkness, people are looking for that pat on the back. Where is it? Oh, I don't need it. Because what I've done is in the fucking unseen work, I built Frankenstein. So whenever shit gets nasty, David Goggins goes, we had nobody anyway, motherfucker. But there's times where you can go without your friends, you can go without going out, you can go without other people around you. You have to separate yourself from the pack. You have to be willing to spend time with yourself. You have to be willing to, uh, to, to start cutting things out of your nutritional program. Eat healthy. You know, get enough rest, get enough sleep. All of these things come into play of finding your, your purpose. And it's almost sacrificing. You have to sacrifice. This isn't for the masses. This is for those who want to leave normal behind. Those who are in search of a new realm. It's a lonely journey. You're isolated. Those who used to keep pace with you will fall off. They'll see where their world ends and yours begins. Your ability to suffer, endure, outwork must be greater. You must be willing to extend yourself to the limit with no guarantee of success. Every day, you must ask yourself, did I do enough? Everybody's asleep, man, or just getting home after a long night. You know, <laughs> going out there partying, it's Friday night. It's uh, close to three in the morning right now. You know, the thing is, man, it's always going to be a party. It's always going to be a time to celebrate and a time to join friends and or a day to, I mean, the bars are always open, always open. No matter how old you are, they're always open, you know? What's not always open is the opportunity to, to check the box in life, you know, to achieve your dreams. That, that's not always open, man. And it's funny, it's like, you know, I'm not saying you do it all the time and everything else, because everyone needs release in life. But it's funny when you're coming here and you're closing the gym up and uh, there's no one in the parking lot except for my car. So, you know, it's lonely, man. It's just like being this only car out in the parking lot. But if you're cool with that, man, if you're cool with walking in the shadows of yourself and, you know, the only person you got is the man right there in the shadow, man. You know, if you're cool with that kind of walk of life, I tell you, man, <laughs> the world is your playground. Time alone, again, will make you see, first of all, who God is, second of all, who you are, and the third thing, it lets you see what will fit you, what's suitable for your life, where is your sweet spot, what works for you. The one companion that's always going to be with you is yourself. And I think the first thing we have to do is we have to get ourselves to the point where we don't necessarily need a companion. We don't want to be left alone by ourselves with ourselves. So we come in and we sit down and we get on our phone or we turn on the TV because we don't want to face the reality of being by ourselves with ourselves. And so, fellas, I would say start making yourself a companion that you're comfortable with. The biggest thing you have to do is shut off technology. You have to go dark. What I mean by that is you have to be quiet in your mind. Get away from people. We love being around people. We love talking. We love, we love parties. It's okay to be alone. So you gotta go to the truth first. Who are you? Get, get really accountable. And say, okay, who am I? What's the truth about me? Get to that dark place in your mind. Figure out, it may take months, it may take years. Figure out your purpose. Figure out what you want to be in life. And then from there, okay, I have my purpose. It may take a long time. No one knows their purpose because it's too loud. Nobody's coming to save you, big dog. You still don't get that. Your whole life, everything that's happened, it's all on you. Every decision, every messed up habit, every poor choice, it's all led you here. You're standing in the mess you created. The only person who's gonna pull you out of this spot is you. No more excuses, no more pointing fingers. No more blaming the world for where you're at. You want change? You want to level up? 
then it's time to get real with yourself. Get focused, get ferocious. You gotta dig deep and find that fire inside you, the one that doesn't take no for an answer. It's not about what you could have done or what should have happened. It's about what you're gonna do right now. No one's handing you a lifeline. No one's coming to bail you out. It's all on you. Thanks for staying with us until the end. If this video fired you up or gave you the push you needed, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more content.